Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Irvi and I'm a student at UC Berkeley studying business and data science. And as you may know, I'm part of the global management program at Haas. In today's video, I'm gonna be revealing exactly word for word what I said in my interview. And at the end, I'll go over what I think I did well and what I would have liked to change. If you want to learn more about the logistics of how that video interview might work, you can definitely check out our previous video on that and hopefully that will clear some things up even though the format might be a little bit different this year. What's really cool about GMP is after you're accepted, they do let you see the video interview that you had and what I did was I rewatched it, I transcribed it and that's why I'm going to be looking down a lot so I can read what exactly I said out loud to you. So I started off by saying, Hi, my name is Aridala and I'll be addressing the first question. To me, global management is learning how to effectively solve problems to create social impact on an international level. Thus, as a global leader, you should have the skills to be self-aware, adaptable, knowledgeable on various cultural perspectives, and be able to communicate effectively. Most importantly, I believe that Berkeley's defining leadership principles, which are question of status quo, confidence without attitude, student always, and beyond yourself are essential in being successful in global management. For the second question, I'm drawn to GMP because of its focus on applied learning, intellectual exploration, and creativity, which will allow me to pursue my startup ambitions in developing a global network of accessible resources for many disadvantaged communities. Beyond academics, GMP's dedication to embracing global perspectives through the Fall Study Abroad program in London is truly inspiring to me. And not only will I be able to interact with diverse industries, but I would also gain that special cohort class experience. Lastly, as a student who values using my business skills for service engagement and really thrives on learning by doing, I'm convinced that GMP is the perfect fit for me to achieve my entrepreneurial dreams as a global citizen. For the third question, as I look into the future, I know that I want to develop sustainable and scalable solutions for local and international corporations. The Haas Business School at Berkeley is at the center of that innovation with such a diverse range of industries and GMP also offers a unique experience experience to take my education to that global level. Those are some of the details that really drew me into the university and excites me about being a student at Berkeley. Beyond just academics, I'm also involved in aiding minority groups in my community as a producer of the initiative Fairfax and thoroughly enjoy growing my STEM nonprofit as well as volunteering at Cancer Kids First. I heard about the Net Impact Consulting Group that dedicates its time to guiding social enterprises and nonprofits, and I'd really love to be a part of that. I also admire Berkeley's commitment to their four principles and values. I definitely believe that they align with mine as well, and I hope I'll be given the opportunity to utilize them in my education with the Global Management Program. For the fourth question, as a student growing up in an immigrant household and appreciating the multicultural aspects of learning with the IB program, I've definitely become an individual who values connecting with new cultures. This led me to realize that practicing business management at a global scale is my ideal academic pursuit. Additionally, my past experiences with observing discrimination firsthand and facing colorism made me understand the necessity to normalize valuing perspective over narrow-mindedness. For instance, sometimes instead of settling for debate topics that are guaranteed for success, I voluntarily steer towards the side I internally disagree with at first. And instead of relying on the majority's judgment, I curiously exam paradigms in hopes to, you know, shift preconceived ideas. I carry that same enthusiasm with me throughout the day as I catch myself educating my neighbors about cultural appropriation versus appreciation during evening walks. I deeply understand the significance of respecting the diversity of people and philosophies. Therefore, my open-minded conversations on campus may inspire students to conceptualize the ways of knowing. Maybe my debates will shape someone to develop a receptive behavior. Regardless, I aspire to express my flexible thinking at Berkeley's diverse community. In regards to some of my community and organization involvements, due to the pandemic, our school lifestyle obviously transformed into virtual learning, and I realized how this only increased educational equity disparities. For the past year, I worked on producing the initiative Fairfax, which I mentioned before, and I try to embrace diversity and encourage communities to practice resource stewardship. 
I've also developed my nonprofit for over six years now to share free experiential STEM opportunities. Additionally, I am a student volunteer at Cancer Kids First and at First Tech Challenge Robotics competitions. Thank you. Obviously, my interview was not perfect and here are things I would have liked to change or improve on. So the first thing was I did stumble upon two words and I did say um two to three times. I like to try to avoid filler words when I am speaking like um or like, but sometimes it does just happen. Definitely would have also liked to have changed how I answered a few of my questions in the sense that a lot of them seemed very repetitive or too similar. Not entirely sure if because the questions were kind of intertwined or similar, but it did seem a bit repetitive with my word choice. I'd like to address that in the last response I had for the fifth question, it did seem like I was just listing out as many things as possible. Ideally, that's not how I would have liked to answer the question, but I think it's because I was a little bit low on time, so making sure you allocate enough time to answer questions is really important. Lastly, I think my responses would have been enhanced if I added quantifiable information to them. It seemed like the responses I had were a bit too broad to my liking as I am listening to them out loud right now. So adding something like impacted 6,000 students during my nonprofit and its events would have been something that may have intrigued them a bit more. Now going on to the pros, I was definitely not my monotonous when I was speaking in my interview. I may have sounded a bit monotone while I was reading my responses to you right now, but I assure you I was trying to talk like it was a conversation in the real interview. And I know that can be a bit challenging, especially when you're just looking at a camera and there's just a clock and five questions on the other side and no actual human that you're talking to. So definitely take the time to practice, you know, talking to a camera like it's just a conversation. I think that's really important. And what I think I did also very well was I was very expressive. So I'm I'm someone that definitely uses a lot of hand motions when they talk. I did do that in the interview as well. A pro tip is that you never want to put your hands down when you're doing your hand motions, like you're shushing a crowd, you always want to have it face palm up. So when you're talking with like hand motions, your palms are up, that's a bit more welcoming. So you could do like, like that. Now this is just a side note, but you might have remembered that in one of my responses, I did mention a consulting organization that I wanted to apply and be a part of. What's interesting is, although I was very interested at the time to apply to that club, my freshman year I did not apply to that club because I had a totally changed mindset. I went from social impact to being more interested in tech and you know, that just goes to show that you don't have to concrete follow what you said in the interview or your application process. It's okay to go in a totally different direction, but just making sure that you're staying true to yourself currently when you're doing those responses. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact questions that were given to us in the interview right now, but hopefully these responses kind of give you an idea of what you might expect to see in the interview. Obviously, don't just use my responses in my opinion. I feel like my responses could have been better, so it's just there for you to kind of see what the process might look like and maybe give you an idea of what to expect. That concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope it helps. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions whatsoever. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Bye!